folks, Mike and McGee here. Today was a day that we spent in the woods gathering firewood. And when we do this, we choose our dead trees and we choose our invasive species, such as a lanthus, and that's what we cut. While I'm out here ambling along, Matthew comes along to go get another load of wood. And what should I find at the base of a hickory stump? But a what I feel is a Berkeley polypore. If it's not a Berkeley polypore, it's still edible. It's still a good edible mushroom. What I'd said just freaked about half of you out because you say if you can't positively identify it as a Berkeley polypore, what makes you think it's edible? Well, I believe it's edible. Now, these Berkeley polypores, when they come up, You've got just a short amount of time to get them before they're not edible anymore. They just, they're edible, they're just too woody. So I can tell these things are young. They're still quite young. I'm gonna cut a piece off and I'm gonna eat it. There's no way to describe that except good. Now they've got black spots in them those black spots just had to be cut out now when you look at this if you tear it it strings like meat it's just like it's just like the grains of meat these interior portions are still already getting a little woody That's good. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, this is an old hickory stump from a hickory that died five, 10 years ago. I, I utilized the wood from it. And we're in the mushroom business here now. Yep, nice and tender. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut enough for a nice meal, and I'm gonna soak this in salt water overnight, and in the morning, we're gonna have breakfast. How do you like the sound of that? And the deal is, if I cook it for breakfast, Frank will get to be here for it. That's, that's the best part about it. This one is big, yet tender, stringy, like chicken meat. Just cut the black portion off and throw the rest in there. It's just a little old place where the acid of the tree or something rotted it, caused it to turn black. It's like string cheese. Wow. It's literally like string cheese. Look here. Oops. So good. You can hear the boys getting firewood stacked in the trailer. We've been getting wood literally all day long. We are getting ready for winter and it was 90 degrees today people say what in the world did you cut in the summer cow hollering over there people say why in the world did you cut firewood when it's hot weather i'll tell you why when it's cold weather i don't want to be cutting it and also this heat will dry it out so it actually burn when cold weather hits let's get out of here i'm gonna get this soaking in water right now but what you're gonna see next is gonna be me frying it in the kitchen on the stove get in there and get your coffee son i'm trying to cut up these mushrooms and all you want to do is think about drinking always a heavy drinker folks heavy drinker matt's going to get us a little wood for the porch look at these mushrooms son Coffee just right at the moment. Does that look good, son? Yeah, we got them out. 
I found them down by a stump. By the stump. By the what stump. What kind is them? Well, I thought they were, I thought they were Berkeleys. They but ain't. they ain't. They're called black stain and polypores, and I got the black stains to prove it, so. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, last night I discovered these are not Berkeleys at all. I didn't, uh, I wasn't exactly for sure when I seen them. They definitely look like Berkeleys, but Berkeleys don't stain. And these stain me black as a uh, crow. Another thing I discovered is, do yourself a favor and don't eat them raw. I ate them things raw, and before supper time, my mouth started getting, the back of my, into my throat started getting very agitated. So I learned a lesson about that, and even after I ate supper, it didn't go away. Sometime during the night, I guess, I started feeling better, so you want to cook them. You definitely want to cook them. So I soaked them in salt all night long basically what we got here is just mushroom bacon they were brined all night in that, mud, in that salt so i'm fixing to throw i'm gonna have me some hot grease and throw these in and we're gonna have us some mushroom bacon for breakfast not sure if i can get anybody to eat it but uh it's about about that time so let's get it mushrooms in that hot grease is going to sound a little bit like this this is definitely going to be the first black staining polypores i've ever cooked cook them in a black skillet that just seems very fitting on a fire like that right there that's going to get the job done folks a fire like that will flat brown the biscuits. Oh, and by the way, we're cooking these in sausage grease. I think I'm gonna take me a little cam dog Cajun seasoning and just sprinkle it all over it right now. And that, my friend, is gonna talk to it. That definitely ups the good aromas. Mm -mm. All right, time to get these babies out. Huh, just like that, it's starting to rain. Well, my clover seed's gonna be happy if it does come a good rain. And just like that, here we go. Lay it on it. Mm. These eggs cook fast when they in this kind of grease. Oh yeah. The nice thing is, if you miss a mushroom like this right here and he's still in the egg, why, that's good together. This does not take long to finish up here, baby. Mm. Matter of fact, it is time for me to get this skillet in the house or they're going to be overcooked in a moment. All right, here's the mushrooms. I'm going to give you a little private taste test before we go in. I fried them up just a little crispy. They they're about the same saltiness as bacon, literally. The uh, camp dog just brought a whole new thing in there. I think they're gonna like them. Let's get them in there and feed it to them. <laughs> get you some mushrooms and some eggs real quick. Franklin got his, he went and wrapped his mushrooms up in his egg. Yeah, buddy. I enjoy this good home grown fresh milk. I tell you I do. Ah. I'm gonna give him a little private taste test. 
Eat your mushroom and tell the people if it's good or not. Here's one in my egg. It really does enhance the eggs, I tell you. What's it taste like, boys? Talk to me. Talk loud. Uh-huh. Tastes a little bit like bacon. That's what I said. Mm -hmm. I fried some sausage grease and I put hemp dog on it. Mm -hmm. You like that? I soaked it in the brine all night. You like them? Yep. Caleb? You love it? Better than eating no cardboard shoebox. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, there you have it. If you handle a mushroom properly, even though it's not choice, it can still be very good. It's just like taking an old groundhog or possum or raccoon. You <laughs> handle it properly, you can have some really good eating. And that's what we've got here. So... Hope this video helps you in your shrooming. But that's all we've got for you today. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.